Arjun is in a miserable position. That is not the position of Arjun, the person. That is the situation of entire mankind. That is the conflict that we all face daily, every day. So first of all, it is not about Arjun and Krishna. It is not about two persons. Arjun and Krishna are both within us. Krishna is not standing in front of Arjun. Krishna is the heart of Arjun. First of all, if the child says, why did you bring me into this world? The parents must straight away apologize. Hmm? No, not a laughing matter. Think of basic honesty. Hmm? And it is because Parents have, first of all, committed the mistake of bringing another person into this world of agony, longing and suffering that they compensate by investing themselves in raising the kid. That is why it is imperative for the parents to bring education to the kid, give food to the kid, spend money on the kid. It is a compensation. Have you seen how much of parents' time, especially the mother's time, gets spent on the kid? It has to be done. It is a thing of justice. It is not a favor to the kid. The parents owe it to the kid. And the kid is very justified in asking, did I really plead to you to bring me into this world? Did I send a formal application? You, in your moment of personal wisdom and planned indiscretion or unplanned lust, gave birth to me. Now I sue you. Now I demand damages and all the money that gets spent on the kid is actually a compensation. Compensation for that moment of indiscretion. It could be conscious indiscretion by way of a planned birth or it could be unconscious indiscretion when you say, oh, the child just came. We didn't plan it. Whether conscious or unconscious, the fact is that it is an indiscretion. Because it is an indiscretion, so you pay for it. Now you know why you have to pay so much for the kid's school fee. It is a fine. It is a fine that you are paying. You are being penalized by existence. Now you know why the mother has to carry the kid for nine months. The mother is being severely penalized. What made you so go so blind in emotion or in lust that you allowed yourself to get pregnant? Now pay the fine. Now a 
shrieking screeching thing will come into the world pay the fine it begins by paying the hospital fees no kid gets born without the hospital charges being paid does that not tell you that the whole thing starts as some kind of penalty see after you fight with someone you are carried away to the hospital you know that something wrong has happened that's why you have been brought to the hospital and when you get pregnant you are taken to the hospital don't you see the parallel hmm so that's true and every kid must ask this and therefore giving the best environment to the kid to rid him of all body and social identification is the minimum that the parents can do for him the parents have given the kid the cage that the body is the body is a cage and as the kid grows up there is much more to engage him and it's not merely a mistake it's actually a crime there was nobody to suffer and you unnecessarily brought suffering to the world now the minimum that you can do is liberate him give him conditions that would enable his liberation and that is the role the dharm of parents give kid conditions that would enable his liberation i repeat this is not a favor that parents do to the child this is their obligation and if you cannot meet this obligation then you are you are committing a double crime the first is to give birth the second is to give birth without having the credentials to act as worthy parents hmm let all parents remember this the day the child is born he is born as someone to whom you are deeply indebted you have to clear the debt it is not that the child is indebted the parents must be very clear on who the debtor is classically it has been said that the child owes a lot to the parents matr rin pitr rin the fact is totally different the parents owe a lot to the child
so be very cautious while giving birth when you are giving birth you are actually giving birth to a big debt a humongous debt and you have to settle that debt otherwise you won't be able to settle in peace if you don't want to increase your debt manifold then be very cautious while giving birth giving birth is not a play thing there was nothing else to do so we just decided to break the bed and a few babies we got here are two where is the third one oh where is the third one look behind the almira under the carpet behind the curtain somewhere a third must be there it's not a casual affair giving birth is not for kids law just says that there is a legal age 18 21 and such things first of all giving birth requires that there has to be mental maturity unfortunately 99% of the world's population is not at all mentally mature enough to be parents the funny thing is that the 1% who are mentally mature enough to be parents would never want to give birth so all the instances of baby making belong to those who should never have been allowed to make babies it's almost like a 5 year old girl giving birth oh she looks 25 she is actually 5 a 4 year old boy giving birth oh he looks like a brute of 34 6 feet 80 kilograms he is actually just 4 just as a 4 year old runs behind mama this 34 year old runs behind the kids mama we must fully understand what procreation is beyond the social myth there is a huge social myth around becoming parents giving birth babies we don't beget babies we beget stories we do not know what a baby really is we fall for stories we have stories we don't know realities and we become part of those stories those stories are all false open your eyes and look at what the thing actually is like it is not the fairy tale we have been told it is it is something drastically different 